My name is Michael Ashby. I'm the after sales associate for Maserati and Bentley here at Twin City Luxury Auto. I've been with Morris for 16 and a half years now. Started back in 1996. Started as a simple lot attendant washing the cars and I've slowly made my way up through the ranks through a couple different departments. I started with Mazda and a few years ago switched over to the Maserati and Bentley branded side of things. On a daily basis, I'm responsible for taking in customer appointments over the phone, internet leads. Uh, through our service department, we also service all of the incoming trades that are uh, of the Highline variety. Uh, I also handle all the warranty claims for Maserati, so I'm the person that uh, directly talks to Maserati about what's covered and what isn't covered. Uh, we moved here in 1996 uh, from the UK. Uh, a cute story, my mother moved over first. Uh, she's actually an American, so it was easier to have her get herself settled in before the rest of us moved over. And she'd always wanted a little Mazda Miata, so when she moved here, the first thing she did was buy a little Miata from the Mazda side here. Uh, while she was there, she got a job application knowing that uh, we'd be following shortly after. So when we got off the plane and, and got settled. A few weeks later I came in and, and applied for a job. Spent the summer working as a lot attendant and moved up through the ranks when we expanded and in 2000 when we opened up the newer facility, one of our first reopenings, uh, we needed a detail shop and at that point I moved from being a lot attendant to doing all of the recon work, the dent repair, paint touch up, polishing scratches, things of that nature. I would have to say the people. I think a good reflection is a lot of the people that we have here have been here extended years. Uh, my boss has been here about 24 years, so obviously he's, he likes it enough too. So when you start working with people for five, six years and, and so on, you really get to know people and you start to feel like a family. So everyone looks out for each other. Everyone's got everyone else's best interests at heart. So that makes coming to work uh, that much more fun when you know everyone has got a vested interest in, in, in everyone else's success. So, so I really like that. You know, I've seen a lot of people come and go, some, some fun characters, some oddballs, but for the most part the, uh, the core group stayed the same for the last uh, number of years. So it's kind of fun seeing everybody progress as they do. Right now my free time is really spent uh, with my girls, uh, two little girls and uh, just watching them grow and uh, watching them partake in school activities and, and things of that nature. So uh, not a whole lot of free time for my wife and I to do a whole lot of stuff. I used to race cars. I started in a 1966 Datsun Roadster and then progressed up to a spec Miata for a few years. Now we've got the two girls, we, we stopped doing that, but my oldest currently has a go-kart that she should be campaigning next year, so I think we'll get into racing at some point again just with the girls instead of me. My first car that I ever drove, I, I learnt to drive in a Ford Fiesta, I believe it was a 1988, and that's uh, I took my test in that car and failed twice before I passed on the third time. I will say the English driving test is a lot harder than the American one because I passed that one first time without even trying. So, so my first car I drove was a Ford Fiesta. The first car uh, I ever purchased for myself was a 1987 Mazda RX-7. Car related memories, we grew up a few miles from Brands Hatch race circuit in the southeast of England so uh, most of my summers were uh, my dad taking myself and my brother uh, to the racetrack, watched uh, a few British touring car races, we went up to Silverstone for the Formula One event so most of my car related memories are going to be uh, back when I was a kid watching race cars and dreaming of being a race car driver and then Really in 2000, I was the Jeep production champion in our Datsun Roadster for Midwestern Council. So that was pretty fun. That was something my dad and I did uh, together. So it was a lot of fun 
uh, working with him and, and, uh, and winning the title. That's a good question because even though money's no object, the purpose of the car is always going to come into play there. And, and really, with all the brands that Morris had, there, there's so many uh, good cars uh, for different reasons. Uh, I think uh, I'm a big Mazda guy at heart. I, I think if I look through some of their past cars, uh, I would say an RX-8 R3 would be fantastic. It's got room for four people. It's got some trunk. I uh, sounds good. It's not the most emotive sound, but it's uh, it's an interesting rotary whir, and it handles fantastic. But obviously, price no object. You're going to be looking at something on our show floor, or one of the Bentleys, one of the Maseratis. Uh, you're going to have to say the Maserati sound the best, but being English, it would be a crime if I if I wasn't driving a Bentley. So, the uh, the new upcoming GT Speed looks fantastic. The old Super Sports was awesome but with only two seats it's not very practical so we'll go with the new speed that's got more more than enough power and luxury that you need as a family